Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother Over the Top updates and spoilers. Our house guests of the day are Susan Moody, Samantha, and Sophie. What up, S Squad? I hope you guys are having a great day and enjoying the crap out of the season because it's been great so far. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, like the S Squad, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Alright, so yesterday was eviction night. Danielle was evicted by a unanimous vote of 4-0. to zero. And then Big Brother sent out a message doo -doo 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 -doo, from the diary room. <laughs> and they said, everyone's going to be eligible to play in the final HOH competition, so don't be throwing this next one thinking that you can't play if you don't. Okay. And then they said, it's all up to you because America... No more uh, nominee, no more eviction vote. We have no power until the finale. That's it for us. That kind of sucks, but I'm so used to having power now. Ah! All right, so then it was time for the HOH competition called Keep You Posted. So this comp was part quiz, part endurance. So Shelby was hosting as the outgoing HOH, and she asked the house guests seven questions, and the answer for each of them was either males or females. Big Brother tried to be all sly and be like, Big Brother wants to talk about sex. <laughs> Good job, guys. Um, so the answers for these questions were not revealed right away. They had to start the endurance part first, and then they were re revealing the answers, because this is the way it worked. Each house guest had five uh, posts in front of them of varying widths. So it started out like the biggest one and then it got smaller and smaller and smaller. So each time you got a question wrong, you had to move on to the next post, which was more difficult to stand on. So they revealed the answers every five minutes. And like I said, if you get one wrong, you move to a smaller post. And then there were only five posts total. So like, I guess if you got everything wrong, you would just stay on the smallest one and you just suck. And then <laughs> if they get to the end of the questions and there are people still not on the smallest post, they keep moving everybody up every five minutes until everyone is on that final post. All right. Obviously, if you fall off your post, you're out. Okay. So question number one, who made the most attempts in the BB barcode HOH comp? The answer was females. Everyone got it right. Question two, who received the most votes to evict over the course of the season? Males. Again, everyone was correct. All right, question number three. Of the first five eliminated in Live by the Sword, were the majority male or female? The answer was males, and Justin got it wrong. He was the first one that had to move forward. So they get, was it five or ten seconds to transition? I want to say it was five. 10. <laughs> Mom says 10. All right. Number four. Of the first seven house guests infected by the BB bug, who were in the majority? The answer was females, and Jason got it wrong, so he had to move forward. Number five. In the haunting of Clementine O'Grady veto competition, if you combine the times of all the males and combine the times of all the females, which group had the higher total time? The answer was females. Justin got it wrong. He had to move forward again. So at this point, he's on his third post. Jason's on his second. Everybody else is on the first one. Uh, number six, who took more shots in the veto for sale comp? Males. Justin got it wrong. <laughs> he moves ahead again. Number seven, the final question. When the second question was asked in the one strike, you're out HOH competition, who were there more... Who were there more of still in the game? I can read. Females. Everyone got it right. So they all stayed where they were for the next five minutes. And then five minutes later, everybody's got to move up a post. So Jason was moving to the third one. And during that transition, he couldn't do it. He just he couldn't transition. So he fell. He was out. The first one out in the competition. Then uh, a few minutes later... Justin falls. He did transition successfully to that last post, and he was standing on it with one foot, and then he just couldn't do it, so he fell off. So it came down to Morgan and Chrissy. They both got all of the questions right, but they had to keep moving forward every five minutes. So when they got to the fourth post out of five, Morgan's like, hey, Chrissy, you want to make a deal? And she's saying, like, let me have the HOH. You can have the room and have a say in what I do. And Chrissy's like, I just can't throw it. I can't. I can't bear to do that. And then she says that Morgan is going to have to pry it out of her cold, dead hands. 
or they'll just have to move up another post. So, like, a minute or two after uh, Morgan's attempt at a deal, it was time to transition to the next and final post. Chrissy fell down. She claimed that she stepped on her pants. And uh, Morgan won the HOH. So Morgan and Shelby were very excited. Morgan won something. She's guaranteed a spot in the final four. She was like, Shelby, I'm taking you with me. We'll see. I don't know. You never know what could happen. So then Jason was very upset because he feels like he should have won this competition. He's got tiny feet and he's been asking for endurance all this time and he just couldn't do it. So he was very disappointed in himself and I feel bad for him. So then Justin and Jason were chatting and Jason's like, there's still hope. Like, well, I mean, he was pretty down on himself, but he was saying, you know, whichever one of us is not nominated this week has to win the power veto because then Shelby would have to be the replacement nominee and they would be the only ones voting, so all three of them could be safe. Um, so Justin's like, yeah, yeah, of course. Now we know that Justin does want to get rid of Jason this week. So he wants Morgan's plan to be successful. He's definitely in between both sides right now, though. So then swapping Chrissy for Justin, talking to Jason, and Chrissy's like, how was I supposed to be a cheerleader? Like, I'm a weightlifter. This is ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> did you leave 30% of your feet out there on those posts? So then, um, Chrissy is saying, like, she's upset that one of her friends could be going home this week. And it's just, like, she always assumes it's not going to be her. And, like, I get that she thinks she's going to be dragged to the end, and she probably will be. But you never know what could happen, and she just never thinks that it's going to be her going. It's crazy. So then Chrissy also said that she didn't come all this way to get second place against those girls in the final three. Who said anything about second place? <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. Uh, but anyway, they were talking about Justin's care package and they're hoping that it's gonna benefit them too. They're thinking it could be some sort of buy into the final four and they're hoping um, that that will mean that Justin is, <coughs> excuse me, automatically safe. And then if one of them win the power of veto, um, Shelby will have to go up. So they're saying, like, that would be better for them because then any of them blah, 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 from their group could win the POV and not just the person who's not on the block. So then Morgan uh, confirms with Shelby and Justin that her plan is still indeed to get rid of Jason this week. Uh, she wants to put Chrissy up on the block next to him. They don't trust Chrissy. After this competition, Chrissy went over to the girls and was like, yeah, I like kind of threw that at the end because I knew that I wouldn't be able to do the last post anyway. And they were just like, yeah, okay. They know that she didn't throw it because if she was going to throw it, she would have taken the deal. So then Morgan gets her HOH room. She's got family pictures no Alex. I just think it would have been hilarious if they did the uh, sister reveal by putting Alex's pictures in there. It would have been pretty funny. Uh, but she got some clothes, snacks, letter from her dad. She was very emotional about that. She got uh, her CD, was Beyonce. All right, so that brings us to today. Not much going on yet. Um, Big Brother has gotten very lax about the no sleeping during the day rule. Uh, later today, they're going to have their Q&A with Julie. And then we're not going to see Justin get his care package until tomorrow. And I'm hoping that the uh, challenge or whatever he has to do will also be tomorrow. And then, I guess, safety ceremony or whatever, Saturday or Sunday. I really hope it's just going to be one safety ceremony. I mean, really. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are you excited that Morgan won HOH? Or are you like, man? Let me know. And until tomorrow, much love.